Hello, in this video, we will review the Sizing Sheet Manager. Sizing Sheet Manager is a module to help you size the component in order to make sure that they're well fit for your schematic. For example, right now, if I start the simulation of the schematic, let me bring in a plotter because I want to see the extent time of the cylinder. So I'm going to see here linear position. Now I'm going to launch the simulation. Once I stop the simulation, I can go into the plotter and actually use the measuring tool here to see that from beginning to the end of its extension, it took about two seconds. But my requirements for this type of schematic is that the cylinder extend in seven seconds. So I will need to know the flow that I'll need to make that cylinder extend in seven seconds. So I can go on my cylinder. I go into Tools, Sizing Sheet Manager. And in here, we have pre-created sizing sheets to measure extended time, linear speed, piston diameter. And we, as you can see, we have multiple sizing sheets created for all the different technologies of Automation Studio. Right now, what I need to know is the flow that I'll need to have that cylinder extend in seven seconds. So there's no sizing sheet made for that at this time. So I'll create my own sizing sheet by clicking on add a new sizing sheet here. And also you can go into the equation tab to see equations related to the technology that you're working on right now. Okay, so let's go back to calculation and I'm gonna to have to create a new sizing sheet I will click on the plus here, add new sizing sheet. I can obviously rename that sizing sheet. So that's extended flow. Then in my calculation tab, I'm going to define what I need. So here we have the known variable inputs and here's the output. So I want to know the extended flow. So we'll come down here, extend flow but I do not know how to calculate the extend flow. So if you click on the icon here at the end, it's gonna to propose to you different calculation that will help you to reach that goal. So I'll go with the extend speed. So the piston side area, I know it because I have already entered into my technical specification of the cylinder. So I'm gonna go up here and say that the piston sign area, I know it and it is an input. You'll see that automatically the information from the technical specification of that cylinder will automatically be added. Now the average extend speed, I do not know how to calculate that again, so I can click on this icon and it'll tell me that I need to know the stroke and the time. Click on that. I know the extended time because this is an input that I want to put in the, in the formula. And also, I'm going to take the stroke that I have pre-entered again in the technical specs of that cylinder. So right now, I can come here in extended time and change it to 7 seconds. You see it automatically calculated the value and you can change the unit by default or you can change it as, as you want in the software. So in GPM, I need 8.4912 GPM to make it extend in seven seconds. So knowing that, I'm gonna close this sizing sheet. Now I need to modify the pump to obtain the flow that I need. There's two ways I can go to the sizing sheet, like we've seen before by clicking on this icon. Or if you double click on the pump, you will also see the icon on top here, which brings you to the sizing component. So I'll click on this one here. And now I see my sizing sheets for the pump. I need to have one that will tell me the displacement. So you see, I have one equation already made for that. I'll select it. And now what I'm going to do is I know that my motor is giving me 1200 RPM. But I need an output flow, let's put it back to GPM, of 8.4912. Then you'll see when I hit tab, this value will change 
to a different displacement of the pump. And if you click on this icon, you will automatically apply the setting to the pump. I click on it. So 8.49 GPM, if I close this window. And if I go back to the pump, you see that my displacement has been changed to match what I had in my sizing sheet. Right now it tells me that the, the flow rate is 14.152 because it sets for a 2000 RPM rotation. But in my case, my motor spins at 1200 RPM. So if I close this window, and now if we restart the simulation, the cylinder should take seven seconds to fully extend. Once it reached the end, let's stop the simulation here. We're gonna go take our ruler. And now if I measure from this point to this point, I'm gonna have very close to seven seconds. Obviously I could have zoomed in to have a better precision when I put the dot there. As you can see now, my cylinder did extend in seven seconds. Thank you for your time and I invite you to watch the other training videos. Thank you.